Hello everyone, my name is Lorthorn, and this is how to do Totemic. Now Totemic is a very simple mod. All you have to do is get this book. It's a little bit of wood and a little bit of paper, as you can see right here, very simple to make. And bam, that's how you do Totemic. Alright, but actually how you do Totemic is you do want to get this book. To start with, it is very useful to have. Uh, from there, you proceed to get this knife. This is the Totemic Whittly Knife. Now, it is used for Whittly and Way on trees. As you can see over here, I've already done a little bit for you. Uh, so, first of all, you want to get your base. Now, you switch through it by holding the shift, and you can just go along through it. Um, if you hold shift and scroll as well, it works. So, there we go, Totemic Base. We can use a fresh tree over here with leaves on it. So, whack. There we go. And then, let's say, yeah, let's get... Um, bat on it and then we hit bat and these give you all sorts of lovely effects like over here we've got a rabbit and that allows me to jump higher and also bat uh, allows you to do some weird gliding stuff I don't really understand and spiderless you'd be a spider so yes that's the start to totemic is getting this little whittly knife however it goes further from there there is lovely little ceremonies you can perform as well that is what that tinkly bell is all about. Now to start off with these lovely little ceremonies, you will want to get yourself one of these, a flute. Very nice little item here. And then you will also want to get yourself over here, uh, drums. Now drums, very simple to make, just require some carpet, some logs, and some leather. So it will require you to kill some animals, but besides that, it's pretty straightforward. Now with these things, you can start doing magic rituals. These rituals have a large variety of things they can do, from letting you breathe underwater, to summoning buffalo, to even making you more warlike. Now, we will start with the war ceremony. So it involves hitting several drums twice, you have to shift to do it. And then you start slapping away at the drums, like a madman. And also playing a flute as well, while you're at it. Now, one thing to note about this mod is the timer that you see there when you start a ritual. The timer that has a little clock is determined by the game's difficulty. So the easier the game, the slower that timer is. The harder the game, the faster it'll go. So that is to be noted. Now this Ceremony of War makes you faster and stronger, so you can run down cows and punch them to death with two hits. It's rather brutal, and it is a very good buff for about th three minutes. However, if we don't want the buff, we can drink some milk, because running around like a lunatic is lunacy. To do stronger rituals, though, you need newer and more improved -er instruments. Now, one of these such instruments is these little jangly, jingly bell things over here. Now, you can make those by, well, this here. But that requires, what's this? Red cedar wood. How do you get red cedar wood? Well, it's a new kind of tree, but it doesn't spawn naturally in the game. So how you get it is pretty straightforward. You get a normal tree, you slap it down, and then you take out your little flute, you shift, play it, ceremony selection, then you slap a drum, right at spring. Then you run around like a madman, slapping all the drums you can and playing the flute with utmost speed, just going back and forth. You sort of have to do this sort of look up, glide along thing, and just start playing the flute, slap the drums a little bit more, and bam, right at spring. Any trees now placed during this time or placed beforehand will turn into red cedar. And then they have to grow naturally up into the proper tree, which looks something like one of these giant bushy balls over here. Red cedar is a kind of ugly tree, in my opinion. Uh, it's got a weird pinkish color to it. It might be in my monitor settings, but I don't really like them. They also can get, uh, you can strip the bark off them, which apparently gives you five wood instead of four. And also the cedar planks are the... I don't know, I'm, I'm not a fan of the color, personally, but that's just me. Once you've gotten your cedar wood, you can then build these things, again, very simple, build them. And then you can start doing more advanced rituals. As we open up the book here, uh, we can go to, sorry, to ceremonies. Uh, we can go look at the ceremonies. So war dance, very straightforward. Uh, buffalo dance, though, requires some wind chimes. And I'm certain that the drought ceremony requires maracas. So, more and more instruments. So, the buffalo dance is the next one in the 
dancing. Now, if you didn't know, although you should be here knowing about this mod, but a little bit of background to it is this mod is based off, I believe, Central American First Nations mythology and magic and some of their beliefs, although I do not think it's accurate in any way. However, it does have some nice nods to it. So now that we have stated that, the Buffalo Dance. So for the Buffalo Dance, you will need some cows over here. You need some Mui Bastards over here. And you will require yourselves to get, um, in my opinion, some extra flutes. That's something I forgot about. You have to go get yourself a Jingle Dress, which requires Red Seer Leaves and these things. Because it is insane how much you need to do to get these rituals going, these ceremonies. So you need the Jingle Dress. And you put it on, and it jingles when you run around. So again, we're going to wait for the wind chimes to start up. Regular intervals, my ass. There we go. Of course, it ha happened when I said that. So now we're running around, um, uh, playing these flutes as fast as we can. And this is getting the ceremony going slightly. However, we have maxed out uh, the... Uh, thing, but the jingle dress helps, so we get the ceremony done, and then BAM, they turn into buffalo calves. Now we can't tolerate uh, the slowness of buffalo calves, so we are going to simply, because we can't wait for them to grow up, it does take them a bit of time. Now buffalo, unlike cows, will actually attack you. I don't know about the cows, but the buffalo, if you try to kill it, will attack you. So now we got the buffalo, and from the buffalo, you need to get yourself, you can only get it if they're fully grown, you need to get some Buffalo teeth and then with the buffalo teeth to get the next instrument you need to get the maraca and then you have the maraca and It is now possible to do even more rituals and now comes one of my least favorite parts of this mod Which is to get the next ritual, which is the eagle flute The little bone flute here. You need to get yourself some eagles and you need parrots. So that's already hard enough um, but then Basically, you need to get a bloody flute in your offhand, some rockers in your proper hand, you need to get the jingles going, you need to be running around playing. I could only achieve it in Peaceful. It is absurd ritual, so to get it started off as well is rather annoying, because you got to get jingly, you got to get maraca going, then you got to get jingly bells going, then you got to get the flute into your offhand, probably hotkey that, and then you need to run around, play all these interests, going back and forth as much as you can. And they just start maxing it out, which is, like, really annoying. Just the maxing out and playing them. So I've already maxed out the drums. And we're just spamming as much as we can. And even then, like, see, we're way ahead, but we've just maxed out the instruments we can play. And so we barely got it. So you have to basically, you have to have the jingle but dress. You have to be running around. I think you have to be plain and peaceful, in my opinion. You need to spam the drums as much as you can, play the maracas, play flutes. Now it says, oh, wait for intervals, play them together, wait for timing. The timing on the these uh, wind chimes is not accurate whatsoever. And that is the same, like, you just gotta play things as best you can. Then you finally get yourself some eagles, you can kill the eagles, get the bone flute, and then you can do even more rituals. The eagle dance is difficulty three. Now, I was doing everything I could to do the eagle dance. Now, to actually do a ceremony, I believe you have to max out the effectiveness of each instrument while spamming them as fast as you can because there's just not enough time to play the flute and stuff, so you have to do intervals in between. So, I'm pretty certain you have to max out an instrument. So, that though, dance, like, you have to do everything in your utmost power to get it going. Now, like this here, um, the Dance Mac Days Macabre is a good difficulty 5 song. I actually don't know how that's possible unless it's like the upgrade instrument, maybe? But to me, it seems like you have to be playing every single instrument to its utmost, and I actually can't achieve anything past the eagle dance. Like, that's one of, like, the second time I've done the eagle dance so successfully, and it's brutally hard. Now, I did forget about this, so I'm adding an after effect during the editing process, but there is a way to upgrade a flute to make it more powerful, not only in music, but also just to make an actually good item, which is gain the pan flute. Now, to get the pan flute, you have to use a flute and a rattle, so you can only get this after you've gone to Buffalo. But then, basically, it should be one of the first things you do is try to get this flute going. And so you need yourself a rattle and simply start off. Rattle, sorry, flute, rattle, 
and then you have to start playing the instruments like a madman or just do it automatically and then your flute becomes a pan flute and pan flute is slightly more powerful in addition it will make animals follow you although it does appear to be a little buggy if you get like three of them which i would recommend getting three of them then you can do ceremonies better anyways back to the original video so there are two solutions to the brutal stupidity of this mod i really don't think it should um have that timer i think like it's a kind of a fun mini game but in the end it's just frustrating i think you should just have to like play instruments like you could be done better like have to play the instruments in a certain order that could be better or you have to um e even just like play instruments a number of times i think the order is the best solution but what they have of the timer and you have to just play every single one to the max is very frustrating so the solution to that is playing this mod with a friend then you can have jimbo on your drums going back and forth playing some wild drums you can have little pete on the maracas wailing away getting all that music going for you you can have skinny simone playing your eagle bone whistle for you getting that nice music going you can have erica on your just normal flute playing a nice song just that nice tune getting it going and you can have yula klotzi the squirrel girl jumping around playing her jingle dress for you so you got your band together you can even have a smaller band than that but you get them all together and then bam you can actually have the ceremonies work for you because every single person individually can get the ritual to the max you don't have friends or you just don't want to play with other people fair enough and the ceremonies are too hard quite seriously um consider this like if you're doing hardcore then do hardcore but quite ser seriously consider um getting yourself the creative ceremony cheat staff which makes it so any ritual you do automatically happens and i am i i have a weird opinion on this because you like if something's too hard for me i cheat sometimes but that's just for the sake of recording videos i don't have time for it so i have to cheat but in this case this is so absolutely brutally hard to do by yourself like you look online tons of people have troubles you basically have to constantly be sounding every single instrument and it's so absurd that i think it is honestly fair game to use the creative ceremony cheat staff there is some other things which i think are the more useful and possibly underlooked part of this mod uh the nether broom pipes are useless i have no idea how they work but there is a medicine bags. They will cost you an investment of iron and you'll need to get buffalo hide. However, medicine bag is really, really cool. So what you can do with this sucker, right? Is you can go over to your totems. Um, and let's say you want to... Um, you're go you need to see in the night, but you're going to go for a long journey. So you um, right-click on it with a shift. And then you hold the bag nearby... Anyways, you hold on to this bag. The bags are a little buggy. But then your night vision, you need your night vision to come on. But you simply open up your bag and it holds the magic for you. And so you can go on a journey and you can grab a bunch of stuff. So you can get like, all right, I want to fill up with some spider climb and I want to get some cow and various other things to help you out with the rituals in the future. So you just basically come along and you um, shift right click on whatever you want and then you just click to open and close it and it'll fill up so you want some pig or maybe you want some rabbit in there and you can basically fill up the medicine bag and it is quite a useful item the bat totem lets you uh, be resistant to fall damage fire protection from the blaze the buffalo gives you mining the cow makes you slow but you are more resistant enderman see in the dark i think enderman's one of the more useful same with buffalo uh, basically skip over cow for usefulness all these are pretty useful but skip over cow um horse makes you faster ocelot is i think one of the best it stops creepers from exploding so we have the effective ocelot going we get the creeper here and the poor guy can't explode he's like right on the edge of exploding and this, he's literally stuck by the ocelot thing now if we take him a little hole here and he follows us away. Come on. Come on. Over here. He should be able to explode. But right next to it, he can't. 
Pigs give you good luck. That's for fishing and stuff. Rabbits, jumping bonus. Spiders, as before, lets you climb things. Breathe underwater. Um, wolf makes you very strong. And you actually can get this thing, but it does absolutely nothing. Now, there's another item I forgot to cover briefly, which is the bark stripper, which lets you go to, I believe, only red cedar wood. And it's got this weird fleshy tone. And you have to repeatedly right click on it to shave the bark off. Now, wind chimes, again, another tip for you. Wind chimes are more effective when they're on leaves. They will chime more often if they're on leaves and they'll chime for longer. Again, a little bit of a frustrating thing. All right, finally. We're going to cover, I think, one of the most uh, powerful weapons from this mod pack and how to get it and the difficulties behind that, though. Totazan, which will summon Baiki. Now, Baiki is an incredibly powerful enemy. Uh, and he is an archer. He's a buffed skeleton archer. So, the way to fight him is to make sure you're full of health. And we're going to do that right now. Basically, make yourself as strong as possible to fight him. Now, he's an archer, so you might think, oh, I want a shield. But you do not want a shield. So, legitimately, um, we're going to fight him. So, here we go. Basically, armor a projectile protection as much as we can. We are going to get out these golden apples here. Um, and then, when you want to set up a totem to fight him. Now, the totem you want for this fight is going to be wolf for the increased attack power, cow for the resistance, and slow, which is actually useful in this case. And finally, you want pig for good luck, because you'll need it. Now, also what you want to do is you want to set yourself up a nice little war dance to before the fight, because wolf only gives you strength one, whereas war dance will give you strength two. So you might not even need the wolf, but you do need the war dance. Now the ceremony for summoning our friend, Baiki, difficult ones. So if you have friends, then have them help you do this. If not, you can use the ritual like me, because he requires the high tier. He requires wind chimes and flute. So shift on the wind chimes, shift on the flute. Totemization has started. Ceremony of Amak completion. And we now, into this small arena, summon Baiki. Now, as you can see, he shoots like an absolute machine gun. A shield isn't actually useful how fast he shoots. Now, luckily, we gave ourselves armor that made us invinci almost invincible. In a lot of cases, you will not have armor like this. Or the amount of resistance I have. But even then, even without the items I have, you can see... It does help you a little bit. We are still benefiting from the regeneration, but he is quite deadly. So he's not thing to be sneezed at. Now hit wise, you can see though, with the war dance and just a normal diamond sword, you can take out a good amount of his health, but he will run around and want to get away from you. So that is why you want to have him confined to a small space. He is very tough. He has a lot of health, so would recommend war dancing before fighting him, because he will brutalize you. And if you can get golden apples, even the regular type of golden apple actually, are a pretty good item. But basically, the best thing you can do is get the cow and get the war dance. The cow for the resistance, war dance, as best armor as you can for arrow resistance, because this guy is absolutely brutal. Now, Bikey gives you Bikey's bow, which is a really really good item. What it allows you to do is uh, shoot arrows like any other bow. However, it is not just any other bow. It is Bikey's bow. It is an incredibly long range bow. It has very high durability and it deals a whole lot of damage. So, unlike the normal bow, it can take down a wolf in one shot. It can take down that sheep in one shot, it can take down this cow in one shot. No bow can't do that. It can take down a zombie in two shots, where a normal bow would take one. And stat-wise, for health, Baiki takes 29 hits from a normal diamond sword 
without you having any buffs or getting any crits and their full swings. So 29 hits. It does take a little bit to kill them. Definitely more than a spider, which only takes two hits from a diamond sword. That is how to totemic. So I hope you found that in life need. It is a immensely frustrating mod. It does have some nice references to the uh, First Nations of North America with the medicine bag and that being good medicine and the buffalo and the eagle being very important symbols to them and the totems also having magic effects and playing instruments doing ceremonies around them. It is quite nice. And actually, again, like I said, it's annoying you have to use the staff, but friends with this mod, people helping you out, actually is a big part of it, I think. And so having people help you out in the ceremony is again a, sort of a part of the First Nations culture of community and having people do the rituals with you, sort of like a powwow or just doing something with you. So I think is actually an important part of this mod. It still is frustrating if you're trying to play by yourself. Overall though, it is a pretty straightforward, pretty easy mod besides the difficulties of the spamminess of it. But if you're persistent or you cheat or you have people with you, you can basically do everything that this mod has entitled. I do not know what the bagpipes are for, um, I do not care to find out. It's pretty straightforward. That TP is just a basic bed. It's just a fancy looking bed. That's all the TP is. Um, and it just adds a few more blocks to the game and different ways to get effects in the game and a magic bow. And that is basically Totemic. And that's how you do it.